I'm like quite honest with you guys, it's just like probably around episode 10 or something. I'm not really in a good mood. Just because I have to deal with adults. I'm telling you motherfuckers. Adults are the most hypocritical motherfuckers I've ever had to observe for the past several years. And I am just 20 years old. Don't take that as arrogance, don't take that as na naivety. I spend my entire time trying to be more mature and more responsible than my peers at the age of 14, 15, 16, 17. What the fuck? You guys see this, right? Look at that. Look at that. It just fucking crashed on me, this stupid cunt. Okay, you know what? It didn't affect the recording, so let's just continue. It just for some reason did that, even though I had just started this fucking session in terms of the, the Xboxes, whatever the fuck it worries about. I literally quit out of Skyrim every time that I save the game and then exit the game. Every time that I turn off my Xbox, I specifically quit Skyrim just so I can easily go back. Just so, not let easily go back. I turn it off or I quit Skyrim on the Xbox home. Just to prevent shit like this from happening. And yet it still fucking happens. So Bethesda, get on your shit. And stop making shitty ass fucking products. Especially with the goddamn Creation Club bullshit. Stop charging us so much fucking money for mods. And which shouldn't even cost any, any much fucking money to begin with. There are way better mods. Way bigger mods. Possibly... Better programmed mods. Or better pro programmed content made by modders. Than... You motherfuckers. So explain to me why modders are better at developing a game or better at fucking around with the game than the developers themselves when they had the source code. That's why I don't understand. The hypocrisy. Fuck business. Fuck all your type of bullshit with the oh, we're supposed to do it just because for, for legal reasons. Fuck your legal reasons. Now, like I said, I'm pretty pissed off because I have to deal with adults and shit like that. They are the most hypocritical motherfuckers I've had to deal with for the past several years. No matter what, every time that I try to understand them, myself, every time that I try to ask questions, they tend to be very arrogant and ignorant. And it just pisses me the right the fuck off. I heard that fuck up bring y'all before I start ranting even more. Let me show you the operation, then you can ask me questions. I wasn't even gonna ask anything. Where the fuck up AI? Like I swear, I'm not in the fucking mood. No matter how much I try, adults just tend to make it seem like I'm being a child. I'm always being a fucking child. Shut the fuck up about being a being a goddamn child when a lot of things that you do and say make you the goddamn child. Again, I focus on psychology. I focus on speech. I focus on human nature. I focus on human biology. All just because I want to know who the fuck I'm interacting with and I want to know... I need to be able to predict them. Keep following. It isn't far. Yeah, why did you stop right there, you dumbass? Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources for me all. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. If you break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussion. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yes, I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. I suggest you listen. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Floor, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. 
so let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. Uh -huh. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands. Oh my fucking god, I did not fuck with you. Get the fuck out of here and stop interrupting my goddamn shit. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Brignolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us. I can't even hear that much just because when I listen Welcome to this post-production, I can hear the audio from... Welcome to the family, lad. I'm well, I can hear the audio from my microphone. Of coin. So don't disappoint. So I'm sort of forced... Okay, hold on, let me just put this behind my ear, the headphones, to see if that makes a difference. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. You can't turn a profit by killing. Actually, you know what? There's a reason why I have Delvin subtitles on, effects. so... They know their Fuck. way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tanelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a Ifar. We need you to teach him a lesson, but the catch that important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Aye, the last thing, Maven per the guild I has really don't care about any of this. Place. All of you know don't how the fuck foolish, this is supposed to all play out and shit. Oh. I need to put on that. They give me miscellaneous shit. So... To be quite honest, too, I drink and smoke just because of the adults around me. Just because I apparently keep on disappointing them like a motherfucker, even though the things that they do, just because it's a, the traditional way of, of going about it as an adult, doesn't mean that it's the fucking. It's it's not the better way. I've seen my peers do way much more shit than just this, this traditional. Oh, you need a part-time job. You need a full-time job. It takes fucking forever just because these goddamn businesses around me tend to be so fucking unorganized. It just pisses me off. I can, I can think of way better business models to go about in terms... Well, just a better business model, period. See, that kind of attitude comes from... So, if you've got it, look around you. The flagon. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as... Look, I know the others... Something out there is piss drug matters. I don't know who or what it is. I tell you what, that's where you come in. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. All eyes are on you, man. Before we begin, I want to make two things. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of... And two, you follow my lead and do it. Then we understand... Now, it's time to get your feet wet. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Who knows? Old duck. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just... You can get out there and start making an... And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Hmm. Yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into... That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. These jobs aren't gonna finish themselves, you know. So you're the new recruit. Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get vic- I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice. I can also provide a few supplies useful to- Sure, how about I get dirged to- Look. I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold... Good. Then here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Until next time. I'll do this, the, their missions later. For now, I'm just gonna get the fuck out of this goddamn... ...ragged flagon.
some reason my, my shit's acting a bit weird. Anyway, serving jail time causes some skills to lose their cumulative progress to the next value. The longer the sentence, the more skills that are affected. So I don't like talking about my personal life too much, or really at all on these things, because I tend to be very negative, just because that's just how my fucking life is. Like, literally, I don't know what the hell I do to people that cause them to be the way that they are. And I'm, I'm not even naive, or I'm not even ignorant to why they're saying and doing certain things to me. I'm not even naive. I'm just frustrated because I can think of way better ways of going about quote unquote teaching me a lesson or making sure I'm going in the right path than just the way that they go about theirs. Like seriously. There's a reason why people say use your fucking head and I and I even say that too. Use your fucking head and figure out how you can easily help me understand other than you doing the usual bullshit and then for some odd reason give me a fucking attitude or a goddamn tone. I specifically tell them, I specifically tell people not to give me an attitude or tone, otherwise I will react the same way back. And you will not like it, because I can get very argumentative, I can get very verbal, I can get very pissed off. Because it just doesn't seem like people are understanding me. At. All. They're just pissing me off. So then they wonder why they have the certain problems that they do. And yet they keep on doing the same things in which they don't realize are the reasons why they have the problems that they have in the first place. They cause their own problems. Adults cause their own problems. It's just a matter of them actually seeing it and then doing something about it. Otherwise, you can go fuck yourself and just keep on suffering because of your goddamn stupidity. That's what I say to everyone that just tends to not want to fucking understand me and not even bother trying to ask me questions. In the right tone, mind you, to understand where I'm coming from. It just seems like they only want to go about their ways, and only their ways. And which pisses me off even the fuck more, because that's arrogance like a motherfucker. And then they give a reason as- well, actually no, they do give a reason, it's just- It's inefficient, it just seems like they can easily change it if they fucking felt like it. Seriously, it's all their goddamn choice as to how they can treat me. And yet they still do this, the very things. Who the fuck is this enemy right here? And why is it that my shit is not equipped like it should be? What the fuck? Someone nearby or something? Okay, where is this stupid? God, it's on the other side. <laughs> Just swim through here, even though I know for a fact that it might cause Slaughterfish to probably spawn and try to rape me up the ass. in there, I'll take care of everyone from inside. Thing. 
The only reason why I'm frustrated is because I don't do things on purpose, and I'm not going down a dark path, so I don't get why people are making such a big deal to where they, where they tend to think that they can guilt trip me or just find some way, some somehow, to make me feel just stupidly bad for no fucking reason. Again, I'm not doing anything. Other than really not, just not doing anything. It's been like a couple years since... No, I can't really work. The, real, the only reason why I can't really work is one, the businesses are, are so fucking stupid and dumb that even me trying to apply for a goddamn job, the businesses are just super goddamn unprofessional and unorganized. They could be way more organized if they chose to be, but they don't just because... I don't know why. They just tend to be stupidly ignorant about how they should go about business just because they're managers or they have to abide by the fucking corporate even though they can easily do, do things on their own without corporate's permission or without anyone's fucking permission and simply just have a fucking better business. You can be making more money if you should change your stupid-ass business models. I haven't had a job for a while. It's been like eight months, nearly a year since I've had a job at, I really don't give a shit, since I've had a job at Dollar Tree. We can handle that just because, well, I just wanted to hang out with my friends more. And is that a bad thing? Fuck no, because I don't want to be alone. And my mom's told me a lot of times, why don't you be more social? Why don't you make more friends during high school? Well, I tried to, and yet for some reason people just kept on ragging on me. Oh, why aren't you focusing on your shit? Why aren't you... Well, which one is it? Do I focus on my school or do I focus on my social shit? What, what the fuck do I focus on? They don't give me a goddamn answer. That's the thing that I have the biggest beef with a lot of people with. Is they just give me contradictory fucking advice. They just give me inefficient, ineffective as advice. I can't do shit about it just because I don't... I mean, I want to get a job. I'm trying to make some money just so I can at least impress some people. Or at least impress my mom to where she stops giving me the usual bullshit. But on top of that, I also have to deal with my fucking Alzheimer's ridden grandma. I have to deal with... My grandpa in which... He just worries a bit too much or just... Actually, I wouldn't say he worries a bit too much. I just don't know how to... I really don't know. I don't know how to, ma how to make these people proud of me. I don't know how to make these people fucking get off my ass other than trying to get a job. But even when I'm trying to get a job, businesses just tend to be just, just shit. They just tend to be shit. Even if I call the fucking managers, for some reason I'm not even qualified to do the goddamn business, to do the goddamn jobs. CVS denied me. Target denied me, even though I did ROTC. ROTC is very fucking useful. And I've done way... I've done a lot of things in ROTC. I've been a flight sergeant and a flight... Well, flight chief for half of the year. Just because the other half I had to... I wouldn't say I had to, but... You have to understand how San Diego Unified School District works. Apparently, I had to really get a... What's it called? Uh... I have to get a diag an official diagnosis of anxiety and depression just so they can actually officially help me out. Even though I was already giving signs of anxiety and depression in the first place. And even then, even fucking then, I was 16, I've been smoking weed. Even through high school I was smoking weed and yet I just felt like I couldn't, I couldn't smoke weed and then go to the fucking doctors because they're going to fucking judge me and be like, oh you're addicted to weed. I'm like, what the fuck, what the fuck are you talking about? And then they get, and then the psychiatrist gets somewhat fucking defensive, like, oh, look at you getting defensive, like, that's the withdrawal, I'm like, son of a fucking bitch, you do realize I can easily beat your fucking ass if you tell me that shit one more time. I'm not addicted to the fucking weed. I can easily stop if I wanted to, it's just I don't want to. 
the weed is helping me not fucking lose my shit and beat the fuck out of people in which do not understand where the fuck I'm coming from. Actually, no, not, not, not that, not that, not that. That's not the reason why I would beat the shit out of people. I would just beat the shit out of people, period, if they, if they just purposely fuck with me. If they're trying to help me, I can easily see that. I can easily understand that. It's just a matter of people understanding me. I, I can't be the one trying to understand people. They have to understand me. Because I already spent way too much fucking time trying to understand people, trying to understand where they're coming from. And I just realized that they just have so stupidly inefficient ways of going about things to where it's just too contradictory to do. I'm, I'm not stubborn. I just know the internet a lot too much. I, I just know the internet a lot to where I know a lot of ways to make money. I know a lot of ways to make money locally. I know a lot of ways to find job opportunities. I know a lot of ways to just fucking succeed. And even then, the definition of success is so goddamn subjective. The definition... Adulthood is subjective. A lot of things are subjective. Why the fuck should I abide by these stupid ass traditions? I mean, I've already figured out ways that I can easily make, make my own. Hell, if anything, if I really wanted to raise my amount of exposure, my amount of coverage, my mainly just exposure, if I wanted to expose myself to the public even more, I would simply just wear a MAGA hat in downtown San Diego, and I'd just wait for people to fuck with me, and i just record it. I record it all, and I just let the world see, yeah, look at this, look at this, Free freedom of speech, yet these motherfuckers are trying to do whatever it takes to extinguish my speech, or extinguish my expression. That can raise a lot of coverage for me, whether it be good or bad. I mean, either way, people are still talking about me. And although it could be deadly or... I want to say, okay, it could sometimes be deadly. More, more so, it's just very dangerous to do, especially in downtown San Diego, of all places. I don't care. You think I give a fuck? Hell no. I've been wanting to do this for a long ass time. No, this is just more so my tame way of trying to expose myself to the world. I can easily just do it just by doing it politically. And by that I mean I just I just raised some shit in San Diego by simply being a Trump supporter. If people give so much of a shit about me supporting Trump, I will support him even more. The more you tell me not to support him, the more I will support him. You have to understand how human psychology works. The more you insult me for supporting him without giving me credible evidence as to why I shouldn't, I will support him even more. If you give me this, oh, he said these immoral things, I don't give a fuck. A lot more and more things have been said, especially by rappers in which you for some reason idolize way more than the people you should idolize in which have way better personalities and way better livelihoods than these fucking quote-unquote gangster rappers. If anything, I view gangsters as the weakest fucking people just because they think that joining a gang is gonna give them strength. No. No. That's the weakest thing you can fucking do. Joining gangs for sh strength purposes is the weakest thing you can fucking do. If you're not able to take on an entire gang by yourself, then you're not strong. You have to be able to take everyone on and by yourself, stand your own fucking ground, and defend yourself. If not, fight for what you stand for. Don't bow down and submit like a bitch. I don't care how fucking deadly as shit this stupid ass social media mob gets. I want them to do whatever the fuck they want to me, because I'll just do it back. I'll Honestly, they're lucky that I don't have fucking coding skills, otherwise I would simply just try to hack their location, track them down, and beat the fuck out of them. Actually, I, I can I could just easily get way, way, way more dark than that. But I choose not to, because I'm trying to preserve my fucking family's reputation by abiding by these stupid ass adulthood type of shit. You know what? I'm not even gonna... around there.
know where I am, so... Oh, bitches! I'm not gonna bother looting this shit. I've already wasted my time just ranting and ranting and ranting just because of Ultimate is just such a depressing bitch. You know, I don't, I don't really have to do this Thieves Guild shit in order to... I'm literally pressing and holding the fuck. oh my god. Shout! Are you fucking serious? Literally, I've been trying to press and hold this stupid ass sh shouting fucking button, and yet for some reason my fucking character did not want to do jack shit. Telling you, you stupid motherfuckers. This goddamn game is for some reason glitchy as shit. So it's not even doing its basic goddamn functions. Come here. Come here. one might be just a safe of some sort. That was a shitty ass fucking room and it sh it should fucking castrate itself. Fuck! Oh. 